We're out here at Willy Creek today. We're out here for a bit of a drive. Tim wants to have a bit of a practice doing some forward driving. Pull the other thing back. Yeah, yeah. that's good. So what are you doing here? Screwing the tyres down a bit further because we got stuck. <laughs> that there. Or does that say 15? Yeah, yep. Yes. Yep. 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 How was that? Yeah, that was good. Now we got yeah. out. Kids and I have come for a drive out from Broome to Roebuck Bay, about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so from town. Uh, road was a bit sandy and corrugated, so um, after my practice session with Paul, I've got the tyres down, got her in four wheel drive, and yeah, road was actually pretty good, so we made it out here easy. And it is just beautiful. I've been wanting to come out here for a long time. Much better view than you get of the bagging town. Kids are down there having fun. No oh idea how they actually got down there. Must have been down through there. But these stunning red cliffs, mud flats, most turquoise water you'll ever see. Beautiful rock formations. I think various spots along the bay uh, don't have the rocks they just have the the clear beach but we haven't actually seen them but yeah i'll go down and have a look around with the kids just not get too close to the water stay away from the crocodiles you having fun down there yeah. how did you get down there. ah right -a. So Paul's headed back to work and kids and I have had a couple of quiet days uh, which we tend to do once he's back, catching up on washing and uh, schoolwork and tidying up and chilling out after hectic days off, going here, there and everywhere. Um, and today we're going to head back out to Roebuck Bay. We were there the other day but I wanted to come back 
I wanted to go back and uh, have a look at it with the sun in a different position and the tide in a different spot. So we'll head out there and hopefully also up to Willie Creek. So let's see how we go. And this is an absolute delicacy as far as the restaurants are concerned. They will pay anywhere from $180 to $200 a kilo for this meat. So when you hear people talk about oyster meat, this is what they're actually talking about. Mm -hmm. 